I tell you, Captain, it, it don't make sense. We picked her up walking down the street saying the same thing over and over again. Well, she's as goofy as they come, I tell you. Listen to her yourself. Revenge, 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 revenge. revenge. Yeah, listen to her, Captain. Over and over again. Such a young and pretty girl. What could have driven her out of her mind like that, I ask you? Revenge, 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 Yes? Yes, what is it? I... I'm looking for a Mr. Henry Stewart, if you please. Oh, oh, you mean about the advertisement? Yes, that's right. I got here as soon as I could. That's all right, that's all right. As long as you got here, that's all that matters. Come in, come in. Oh, thank you. Uh, just uh, put your suitcase down there. It'll be all right. Thank you. Oh. Now, if you come right this way. Thank you. Just step in here, Miss... Uh... Malone. Ella Malone. Oh, yes, of course. Miss Malone. Now, then, you'll have a chair, please. Oh, thank you. Ah, there we are. Now, then, Miss Malone, uh, to be perfectly frank with you, I wasn't quite expecting you today. Oh, I'm truly sorry, Mr. Stewart. But, you see, I, I took the wrong train and I... Well, I had the hardest time finding the house. I do hope you'll forgive me. Of course, of course. Don't give it another thought. Promptness may be a virtue, but we all can't be virtuous, now can we? <laughs> now then, um, you're here in answer to my advertisement. Yes, sir. You wrote me. Oh, yes, yes, of course. You're the young lady from... Uh... Uh, from Queensville. Oh, yes, Queensville. Uh, you uh, have my letter with you? Oh, yes, sir. Right here, sir. Mm? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Now then, uh, your friends know you came here, of course. There's no one very much interested, Mr. Stewart. Oh, 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 come now. A pretty young girl like you, no young bows, and so on, so on. No, sir, there's no one. I mean, sir, you can depend on me to give all my attention to my work. Very commendable, very commendable indeed. My work, as I wrote you, is entirely confidential. My philanthropies are, to a great extent, entirely sub rosa. No fuss, no feathers. You understand what I mean? Oh, yes, sir. As my secretary, my affairs will be entirely in your hands. My checking account, my finances, and so on, so on. Entirely in your care. I understand, sir. It's uh, quite a responsibility, and uh, you're quite a young woman. And as I wrote you, the bank... Oh, oh yes, sir, I understand. Uh, the bond, I brought the money for it. Three hundred dollars. Uh -huh. I've got it right here, sir. Oh, fine, fine. That's very businesslike, yes, indeed. Uh, I'll give you a receipt, and there we'll be. Uh, Mr. Stewart. Yes? Oh, my pen. Oh, oh yes, I mean, here we are. Uh, my money. Uh, will I get it back from the bank any time I leave your employ... I mean, when you want me to? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, now then, here we are. Received of Miss Nellie Malone. Ella. Oh, yes, of course, Ella. Memory isn't quite what it used to be. <laughs> That's why I need a good secretary. I'm very good at remembering things. Oh, you are, you are. Now then, uh, we are. Guess this receipt is in good order. Received of Miss Ella Malone, $300 to be deposited with the Merchants Bank as surety bond and to be returned to said Ella Malone upon request. There's my signature. Now then, how's that? I'm sure that'll do very well, sir. <laughs> now uh, then... Uh, uh, you have got my receipt, but I... Uh... Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Oh, of course, I have it right here. I am sorry. Oh, well, I understand the excitement of your trip. Here it is, Mr. Stewart. You see, I had it already in an envelope. Now, if you're open... Oh, it... no, no, not at all, not at all. Ben can do that when I send it to them in the morning. Now, uh, just put your purse down there, and I'll show you through your new home. Yes, Mr. Stewart. Now, we'll go right up these stairs. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, you find I have quite a place here. Three stories high, and every inch of it my own design. Rather dark. Oh, oh careful now, careful. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Mustn't hurt yourself. <laughs> Hardly the way to start a new job, is it? Oh, now then, here we are. Got a nice room for you, very nice. Fact of the matter is, you can choose any room on this floor. But, Mr. Stewart, your daughters... Daughters? 
Yes, won't they object? You said Andrew. Oh, yes, yes, my daughters. I did write you about them, didn't I? Yes, you did. Uh, well, never mind about them. They're upstairs studying. <laughs> now, right here. I suggest that you take this room, at least for tonight. Whatever you say, Mr. Stewart. Uh, get the light on here. There we are. Nice, isn't it? I, I, I've never had such a large room. If you've got one a little smaller... On the contrary, my dear Miss Malone, you'll find this one small enough. Perhaps a little too small. <laughs> yes, indeed. Entirely too small. But, Mr. Stewart... Locking the door. M- Mr. Stewart, why did you... Mr. Stewart, why did you lock the door? Mr. Stewart! Mr. Stewart, why have you shut me in here? Mr. Stewart, please. Please answer me. Mr. Stewart, please let me out of here. Mr. Stewart, please let me out of here. It's getting dark in here. Yes, yes, Miss Knoll. There's no doubt in my mind at all that you're the very person I want to employ as my housekeeper. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Stewart. Of course, the matter of being housekeeper of a place as large as mine calls for definite qualities, you understand, of course. I always do my best, sir. Well, one certainly can't ask for more than that, no, indeed. Your wife, maybe she'd like to talk to me? My wife? Oh, yes, of course. I wrote you about my wife, didn't I? Yes, sir. Uh, well, my wife is out shopping. As soon as she returns, you will meet her. I'm sure she'll find your recommendations as satisfactory as I did. Makes me very happy. I've always wanted to work in a fine house. Uh, now, uh, about money. Oh, any salary you want to pay me, Mr. Stewart, it's, it's all right. I, I just want a chance to show you how good I can do your work. Very commendable, yes, indeed, very commendable. But uh, we must agree on a salary. I'm the sort of man who has respect for money and expects a similar respect in others. Oh, yes, and speaking of money, you'll be wanting to open a new bank account, I suppose. Bank account? Yes, it's my principle that everyone employed by me should have a savings account. Bill's character. I'll open an account for you in the morning. You can transfer any other bank accounts you have back in your hometown up to my bank. Convenience, you know. Oh, oh no, sir. I haven't got that. Hmm? I haven't any money in the bank back home. I, I took it all out. Oh, oh. It wasn't much anyway. I got what was left of father's insurance money after my mother died. Oh, yes, yes. Um, well, now then, supposing you leave all your things here and uh, we'll go look over the house, hmm? That'll be very nice. Here, uh, right through this door. I'd be glad to be working in such a big house. Right this way. Oh, yes, yes, quite an establishment here. Designed it all myself. I work hard, Mr. Stewart. Oh, yes, yes, I'm certain you will. Now then, I down these stairs. I'll uh, show you everything downstairs first. You have a washing machine? Yeah? Oh, yes, 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 everything modern, everything convenient. High, wide basement. There you are. Now, watch yourself. It's uh, just a little dark down here this time of day. Oh, it is a big basement, all right. Could hang up plenty of washing down here. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Now, if you'll just come this way. You, you building something down here? Building? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Always building, always changing, always remodeling. Change, 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 change. My hobby, always changing things. <laughs> Hard to keep clean. Now, now, don't you worry about that. Everything will be cleaned up in short order. The bags of sand, concrete, concrete mixer, everything will be out of the way. Won't bother you at all. No, not at all. <laughs> All right, this way. You, you're making more room? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. With nice, clean, concrete floors. Here. Look at this one. It's kind of dark. Oh, come on, come on. Get closer. All my own work. You see, the floor is still wet. I like concrete, don't you? Yes, it is clean. Yes. Covers everything. You know how deep that concrete is? Three feet deep. Yes, ma'am, three feet deep. And I just poured it an hour before you honored me with your presence. Three feet. That'll make a mighty thick slab of stone, won't it, Miss Nord? Thick enough to cover... You! Ah. Ah. Yes, indeed. A fist at the point of the jaw, still a most effective soporific. Uh. Well, you're quite a light woman, my dear Miss Nord. Up you go. And in you go. Face down. What an unusual bed you lie in, Miss Nord. Sinking down and down and down. And the concrete will harden. And I... 
Uh, I guess I will have to get myself a new housekeeper. Ladies and gentlemen, let's lean back now and relax for a moment. Let's take time out from tonight's amazing lights out story. The story of a strange, mysterious mansion and the one woman who entered those doors and was never seen alive again. Let's turn during this brief intermission to a much more everyday situation and a question that's much easier to answer. An angry girl is storming out of her friend's house. And her friend says, What can be wrong with Lucy these days? She crosses a bear and she's losing so much weight she looks terrible. She's just no fun anymore. Well, you know what that well-known nutrition authority says about how improper eating due to wartime living may cause a person to become deficient in vitamin B1 and iron and how you absolutely need enough of them to keep your right weight and energy. Well, I come to think of it, that was Ruth's trouble when she got so run down. So she took ironized yeast tablets. And you know how grand she looks and feels again now. Yes, friends. Any number of people who, due to vitamin B1 and iron shortage, were losing weight, losing strength and energy and interest in life, tell how ironized yeast tablets help them regain glorious pep and strength and needed pounds. So if you're short vitamin B1 and iron, don't wait. Go to your druggist this very night and say, A bottle of ironized yeast tablets, please. And now back to our Lights Out story of... Murder Castle. Hello? Hello? Hello, I- is this the employment agency? This is Mr. Stewart. Mr. Henry Stewart. I'm interested in employing a nurse for my child. Oh, uh, someone preferably unattached who can live here with my wife and myself. No, 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 just send me their names, addresses, and references, and so on. I'll, I'll send you a check for the services. My address is 424 East 7th. Yes, that's right, just their names and addresses. Yes, yes, I'll send you a check. Yes. Oh, goodbye. Oh, yes, yes, I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there. Yes, yes, what is it? Is... Is Mr. Stewart in? Oh, yes, 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 indeed. Won't you come in? I'm Mr. Stewart. Thank you. <laughs> You're answering in regard to, uh... The material position. You wrote me a letter. Oh, yes, 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 indeed. Uh, won't you step in here, please? Thank you. Now, you sit there, I'll sit here. We'll get better acquainted. Put your suitcase down there in the place, so... Now then, I'm afraid I didn't quite get your name. Ray. Betty Ray. You wrote me. Oh, yes, of course. I remember you distinctly. Uh, Now then, you have my letter to you just to sort of refresh my memory on the circumstances, don't you know? Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Eh? I didn't bring it with me. Oh. Well, then, suppose you tell me a little more about yourself uh, and all that's happened. Mother and father see you off the train, I suppose. Oh, no, sir. It's, It's the way I wrote you, Mr. Stewart. I... I'm quite alone. Oh, yes. Well, but, uh, first there's the matter of the surety bond. I wrote to you about that, didn't I? Yes. Yes, you did. Ah, yes, I felt quite certain of that. Mr. Stewart, I was wondering... Yes? Have you had many secretaries? Why do you ask that? I want to know. Why do you ask that question? And what happens to them after you hire them? Tell me, what happens to them? Young woman, just who are you? My name is Betty Malone. Malone. Betty Malone. My sister Ella came here a month ago about a job. And I want to know where she is. Do you hear me? I want to know where she is. I I don't think I quite know what you're talking about. Why do you lie to me? Why do you lie to me? She was here. She was. Oh, then what makes you so sure? A letter you wrote her. The first one. I waited a whole month and then I came here. And as soon as I saw you, I thought something was wrong. And now I know there is. My sister Ella, where is she? You've got to tell me. What if I tell you again that I don't know what you're talking about? I- I'll go to the police. They'll make you tell the truth. I know she came here. I know she did. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Why? Because you're being a very foolish young lady. Very foolish indeed. There's no need to get excited. <laughs> of course your sister's here. And very happy to. She... 
she's here? Yes, yes, I'm very happy, too. Well, then take me to her. Please take me to her. All right, all right. No need to get excited. Of course, I'll take you to her. I intended to all along. I was just having a little joke with you. <laughs> is she all right? Is she of course, all right? Of course, of course. Now then, come right along with me. Come right along with me. Come along with me. Yes, yes, she's right up here. Been with me for over a month. Why didn't she write? Why didn't she tell me? Now then, right down this hall, and you can ask her that for yourself. This, this isn't a trick, is it? My dear young lady, <laughs> you have easily the most suspicious mind of anyone I've ever met. Why, I'm quite a helpless old man, and you always have recourse, as you put it, to the police. <laughs> Here we are, right in this room. Well, go right in. All right. Well, it, it's locked. Well, knock on the door and she'll open it for you. Ella? Ella, it's Betty. Let me in, darling, it's Betty. What do you know? She's sleeping. Ella, please, it's Betty, your sister Betty. Well, no, she certainly is a tight sleeper. But she can't be sleeping. Open the door. Please open the door. All right, all right. No reason to get excited. Oh, quickly, open the door quickly. Now, now, don't excite yourself needlessly. Well, I'll go ahead. You open the door. Ella, it's Betty. Ella, what? Now then, my dear Betty, we understand each other clearly, don't we? Ella. Dead. Nothing like a complete understanding now, is there? Ella. Dead. Oh, it wasn't so difficult. I shut the door, sealed it, and nature took care of the rest. Ella. Dead. She died quite easily. Much easier than others. Why? You mean, why do I do it? It's a very simple explanation, young woman. This is my business. Yes, yes, my business. Some men make their fortunes in stocks, some bonds, some in business. And this is my business. Why? 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 Why is any business conducted? Profit, my dear. And I've made quite a neat little profit, oh yes, and a very safe one, too. You're dead. Yes, and you're the very first to come wandering about looking for one of my uh, customers. The first. And I assure you, the last. Oh, yes. Thirty women have come in my front door. Ella. Thirty-one, including you and Ella. Uh, come on along. No. I'll tell you all about them. You'll find it most instructive. Yes, indeed. Now, come. Don't. Don't hold my arm. Oh, but I must. These corridors, they twist and turn. Oh, yes, it's best I hold your arm. Get lost easily around this house. <laughs> my most interesting house. Where are you taking me? <sighs> yes, there were thirty before you. Most interesting array. I used to read the want ads in small town papers, and then I'd write letters. Oh, most interesting letters. I needed a secretary, a housekeeper, a nurse, excellent salary, unusual accommodation. Oh, how well, I knew this had happened. Indeed. And they brought all their worldly bloggings with them, generally in a suitcase. Little here, a little there. Oh, why? I'm sure it's been most profitable. Now, in this room, for example... No. No, don't open that door. No. Perhaps it would be better not to. The one in here came to be my housekeeper. Oh, let me see. How long ago was it? Oh, well, no matter. She came as a housekeeper, and after she went into a uh, retirement in that room, I found in her suitcase such interesting bonds. Why, I tell you, my eyes fairly popped right in my head. Oh, yes. It's the uncertainty that makes my little business so very fascinating. Killed 30 women. Now, let's go down a little way now, down here. Don't make me pull you along. Killed 30 women. It wasn't difficult. Most women are such fools, anxious to believe what they want to believe. They came here for life and you gave them death. Ah, you're the smart one. That's why I'm even bothering showing you my work. I never did the others. And showing you around won't do harm. You won't be talking long. 30 women died. Now, in this room... Oh, uh, let me open it and show you. No. No, don't make me look. No, please don't. No. Oh, you see? There's no reason for excitement. Just an empty room. Uh, that's what she thought when she went in here. Then I pressed this button, so... <laughs> and the floor flopped open as she stood on it, and down she went. Down, down, down. Guess into what? A pit of lime. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, yes, I tried out so many different ways of killing them. You wonder why they'll never find me out? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I'm much too smart for all of them. Oh, not perfect crimes. No, nothing infantile, but just cleverness in choosing the women I do my business with and an equal cleverness in doing away with them. Oh, yes, indeed. Now then, what was I telling you? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. 
Why, they'll never get me. Oh, I'm seeing you with some things in my head. No corpus delicti. And if there is one, no evidence of violence. Ah, there, that's the secret. Were you very frightened, sister? Well, of quick lime, there's no corpus delecti to that, I can tell you. <laughs> Not when you bury them in a slab of concrete. Ah, yeah, that's the secret. If I could only have been with you, little sister. And now, this room, let me show it to you. I, I think this will be your room, my dear. Oh, very frightened. You see the door? Airtight. Airtight, yes, indeed. I'll open it. <laughs> the room. Amazing sight, isn't it? No doors, no windows. I could have helped you, Ella. Now, I'll shut you up inside the room, and then I'll close the door and press this button here like this. You hear that, little one? You hear that? Pumping, pumping, pumping. And guess what is pumping? Ella, Ella, my head. Air. You hear me? Pumping the air out of the room. Yes, that's clever, isn't it? <laughs> you breathe, and soon there'll be nothing there to breathe, and then you'll die. And if the police do find your body, no mark of violence, nothing but asphyxiation. A most mysterious death, they'll say. And in time, they'll decide it's all quite natural, embolism, heart attack. Oh, they'll think up a fancy name to clear their files. Yes, indeed, they always do. It isn't right for him to live with the <laughs> Now, first, off with the pump. Now, my dear, I think you'd better step inside quickly now so I can close the door and go about my other work. Quickly, I tell you. No, wait. Wait, wait for what? I want to give you something. What can you give me that doesn't belong to me already? This. Gun. Get in there. Get in that room. Gun. You had a gun in your purse all the time. My father. I brought it for the man who... Ella. Get in there. No, 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 no. What are you going to... Get in there. I'll press the trigger. Get in there. I'll kill you. No, no, don't. Get in. Don't. Uh, I'm an old harmless man. I was only fooling. I wouldn't hurt you for the world. Revenge. Strike to revenge, isn't it, Ella? He said to press this button, Ella. The pump. It's running, Ella. Listen to it. It's killing him the way he killed you. It's right to revenge, isn't it, little sister? Fight to revenge. 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 The air is going out. The air. Shut off that motor out there. You hear me? Shut off that motor. Pumping out the air. Pumping it out. The pipe. The air going out. I can't reach the pipe. Shut it off, you devil out there. Shut it off. It'll kill me. Kill me. It's getting thin already. Shut it off. I'll give you anything, anything you want. <laughs> Shut off that pump. <laughs> I can't die. <laughs> I won't die. <laughs> I'll tear the walls down. <laughs> Let me out of here. Air. Man's got the web here. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Well, my ear. Can't hear. Drums breaking. Blood in my mouth. My eyes. No air. Bleeding. Air. Give me air. Breath of air. Air. Revenge. 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 Revenge, 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 yes, listen to her, Captain. Revenge, over and over again. Revenge, revenge Such a young and pretty revenge, girl. Revenge, revenge, What could have driven her out of her mind, revenge, crazy like revenge, that? Revenge, 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 rev